right, let's talk GitLab CI CD. If you've ever been there, you know, just slinging YAML snippets at the wall and praying something sticks, well, you are definitely in the right place. Today, we're gonna break down how you can move way past that guesswork and start building some seriously powerful, reliable automation pipelines that, you know, actually make your life easier. Does that sound a little too familiar? I bet it does. You get a task, you fire up Google, you copy-paste some YAML, and, I don't know, maybe a dozen tries later, you finally get that sweet, sweet green check mark. So it works, but do you actually know why it works? See, that whole approach can leave you with some pretty big knowledge gaps, and, let's be honest, that nagging feeling of insecurity for when things, and they will, go wrong. Okay, so let's really break this down. You've got two paths, right? On one side, you have the quick and dirty method. It's a messy, winding road. But on the other, you've got the professional approach, a clean, direct highway to a much better place. And look, this isn't just about getting something to work, it's about building pipelines that are actually secure, super efficient, and easy for your entire team to understand and maintain. That is the massive leap we're talking about today. You know, the real challenge here isn't just learning the GitLab CI syntax. It's way bigger than that. It's all about orchestration. Think of yourself as a conductor, a modern DevOps pipeline has to connect and manage this whole ecosystem of different technologies. And getting them all to play nicely together, well, that's the real test of your skills. And this really shows you what that whole orchestration thing looks like in the real world. Your CICD pipeline, it's like the central nervous system. It's gotta take your code, build it into a portable Docker image, and then push that image up to a container registry. After that, it has to deploy it to a Kubernetes cluster so it can scale. But wait, there's more. On top of all that, it's got to securely pull sensitive info, like API keys, from a vault and talk to cloud providers like AWS to manage all the infrastructure underneath. A truly professional pipeline has to juggle all of this seamlessly. So the big question is, how do we get there? How do we build these complex, integrated pipelines the right way? Well, it all boils down to having a solid methodology and sticking to best practices. It's about building a foundational understanding that you can take with you and apply to any project, no matter what the tech stack looks like. In this quote, man, it just hits the nail on the head. You don't wanna just learn any old way to do it. The goal isn't some temporary fix that only you understand. The real goal here is to gain valuable, lasting knowledge that makes you a way more effective and frankly, confident engineer. So what does the correct way actually mean in the real world? Well, for starters, it means knowing how to handle your secrets securely using GitLab's built-in features, instead of, and we've all seen this, hard-coding them right in your config files where literally anyone can see them. It also means writing reusable code with things like includes and extends, so you're not just copying and pasting the same logic across dozens of files, because that becomes an absolute nightmare to maintain. And finally, it means making your pipelines flexible with variables, so they can adapt to different situations, like deploying to staging versus deploying to production. Look, a professional approach means you need a structured journey. It's like trying to run before you can walk. You can't just jump straight into complex Kubernetes deployments without first really getting the fundamentals of how GitLab CI actually works under the hood. And here's a roadmap of what that journey actually looks like. First, you start with the foundations. What even are GitLab runners, you know, the agents that do the actual work, and what are executors, which decide the environment they run in? How does the whole architecture fit together? Once you've got that down, you master the core concepts, jobs, stages, variables, basically the Lego blocks of every pipeline. And only then do you move on to the really cool advanced stuff, like cranking up your pipeline speed with caching and creating that super clean, reusable code with templates. Now, this is what I find really interesting. It's all about balance. A great learning experience isn't just a fire hose of theory or a bunch of random demos. It's gotta be this perfect blend of all three, understanding the why, applying it with hands-on practice, and constantly hammering home the best practices that really separate the pros from the amateurs. Okay, theory is great and all, but let's be real. Nothing, and I mean nothing, beats getting your hands dirty. Applying all these concepts to complete real-world projects. That's where the knowledge actually sticks. That's where your confidence just skyrockets. So, for example, picture this. You take a standard Node.js app and you build a complete CI-CD pipeline for it, completely from scratch. And we're not talking about some simple hello world example here. No way. We're talking about a pipeline that automatically runs tests on every single commit, builds a properly versioned Docker image, and then deploys it through multiple environments, from a staging server for testing, all the way to the production environment that your actual users see. Then you level up. 
We're talking microservices. And this brings a whole new set of challenges, right? Like, how do you efficiently manage pipelines when you've got a bunch of services all crammed into one single repository, what we call a monorepo? Or what about the other way around, when every service has its own separate repository, a polyrepo? You get to see the pros and cons of both setups and learn how to build smart, dynamic pipelines that can handle either one. And for the grand finale, you bring it all home. You take those microservices and you deploy them to the undisputed champion of container orchestration, Kubernetes. I mean, this is it. This is where you prove you can handle modern cloud-native deployment workflows from A to Z. I mean, just take a look at the tech stack you'd be getting your hands on. This isn't just a deep dive into GitLab CI-CD, it's basically a practical guide to modern DevOps engineering. You're getting hands-on experience with the exact tools that companies are desperately looking for people to know right now. So, after all that, what's the ultimate goal here? What's the point? Let me tell you. It's not just about learning a new tool. It's about a fundamental transformation in how you approach your job and how you solve problems every single day. Hey, remember that feeling we talked about at the beginning? That uncertainty from just Googling things? The goal here is to make that feeling disappear completely. The end result is real, deep understanding and the kind of confidence that only comes from knowing exactly how to apply your skills to actual real-world projects. And this is what it truly means to be a confident CICD engineer. You don't just know the syntax anymore. You understand the architecture. You're not just writing code. You are building robust, professional-grade systems that your entire team can count on day in and day out. So I've got one last question, and it's for you. Are you ready to leave that whole trial and error phase behind for good? Are you ready to start building the kind of modern, professional CI-CD pipelines that power pretty much all of today's tech? All right, let's talk about something that's absolutely central to the way we build software today, GitLab CI-CD. Now, so many of us, right, we learn these kinds of tools on the fly. We're just patching things together, trying to get a project out the door. But today, we're going to look at a much better way, a professional way, to really master this stuff from the ground up so you can build with some real confidence. So, does this whole scene feel a little familiar? You get a new project, you need a pipeline, and bam, you're just stuck in this loop of Googling, copying and pasting code snippets, and just praying it all works. I mean, it's a super common story but it's also a recipe for creating these really fragile, hard to maintain pipelines that, you know, always seem to break at the absolute worst moment. And really, it boils down to two paths you can take. On one hand, you've got that trial and error method, you know, just hacking solutions together that kinda sorta work. But on the other side, you've got the professional approach, learning a structured best practice way from the very beginning. And let me tell you, the difference is just massive, not just in the quality of what you build, but in your own confidence as a developer. So let's really focus on that, learning the correct way. Because this isn't just about getting that little green check mark to show up in your merge request. It's about building systems that are robust, secure, and professional through and through. You know, this quote just hits the nail on the head. It's all about that mindset shift. You're moving from just tinkering around and making things work to actually being an architect someone who really understands the why behind the how. And honestly, that's what makes all the difference in your career. So what does this correct way actually look like in practice? Well, it means you're mastering things like properly handling sensitive data, your API keys, your passwords, so they never ever end up in your source code. It's about reusing configurations, you're not repeating yourself all over the place. And it's about creating flexible parameterized pipelines. These aren't just little tricks, they are the fundamental standards of the industry. But to get there, you can't just jump in the deep end. You need a clear path, right? A journey that builds your knowledge piece by piece, starting with the basics and logically moving all the way up to the really advanced stuff. And this lays out that journey perfectly. You have to start with the foundations, right? You gotta understand GitLab's architecture, how to set up your own runners. From there, you build on top of that with the core concepts, the real building blocks like jobs, stages, and variables. And only once you have that solid base do you start tackling the advanced features like caching, templates, and reusability that make your pipelines truly efficient and easy to maintain. And let's be real for a second. CI-CD does not live in a bubble. A huge, huge part of mastering it is knowing how it plays with all the other tools you use every single day. We're talking about deep, meaningful integration with the essentials, like Docker for building your images, Kubernetes for orchestration, and of course, cloud platforms like AWS. Okay, so theory is great. We all love theory. 
but it's just not enough. Let's talk about actually applying all this knowledge. Because the real learning, the stuff that sticks, happens when you get your hands dirty on realistic projects where all these concepts finally click into place. So the journey begins with a scenario you've probably seen a million times, building out a complete end-to-end -end pipeline to deploy a Node.js application from the first commit all the way to a live production environment. And listen, this is no hello world pipeline. We're talking about automatically running unit and security tests, dynamically versioning your Docker images so you always know what's deployed, and managing a full multi-stage deployment across dev, staging, and production servers using tools like Docker Compose. This is the whole life cycle. Okay, so from there, we start to ramp up the complexity. The next challenge is tackling microservices, which, as you know, bring a whole new set of problems to the table. You'll actually see how to build effective pipelines for both mono repos, where everything lives in one big repository, and poly repos, where every service gets its own. And for the final project, the grand finale, it's all about the undisputed industry standard for container orchestration. You're gonna take those microservices and build a full continuous deployment pipeline that pushes them right into a live Kubernetes cluster. I mean, this is where everything you've learned truly comes together. So after going through all of this, what's the end goal? What's the destination? Well, it's a lot more than just a new skill on your resume. It's really a fundamental change in how you approach your work every day. And the result is actually pretty simple, but it's so powerful. You get to eliminate those nagging knowledge gaps and you get rid of the insecurities that come with them. You're no longer just crossing your fingers and hoping your pipeline works. You know why it works and you know exactly how to fix it when it breaks. This right here says it all. The whole goal is to be absolutely confident. Not just that you understand the theory, but that you can walk into any real world project and apply what you know effectively. Now that's power. So I guess the final question is for you. Just think about your own projects, your own career. Are you ready to finally move past that trial and error phase and start building professional, solid CI/CD pipelines with total unshakable confidence?